Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Patrice and this is my Embellish Live. In today's episode, I am switching it up just a bit, just a bit as I share with you all 14 crafted related random facts about me. Mwah, Patrice. <laughs> So if that's something you're interested in, let's get in it. The first question is, what is my style? Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm not a glamour girl. I can honestly say that I am not a glamour girl. I am far from being a glamour girl. But I find that I do love the casual look, you know. Um, I'm just, I just love to be relaxed and, and and all of that I do love a casual look um, in my younger days <laughs> I say that as if I'm that old but anyway back in the day you know when I was um, a teenager you know going to high school and all of that I didn't enjoy skirts and dresses as a matter of fact uh, had it not been for school, because in the Virgin Islands, you know, we wear uniforms to school. So had it not been for school and church, you know, I would have avoided skirts and dresses completely, completely. I love jeans and t-shirts. That was my look, you know, jeans, t-shirt, um, a pair of sneakers or sandals that was that was my look oh and a hat love hats I still do so that was my look but as I've grown older you know and I've and as I've gotten to be more feminine because I was more sportsy girl as I got it as I got to be more feminine and you know improved on uh, my look and really decide what it is that I really like I find that I love dresses. I do. I love me a good fit and flare dress. Mm, love it. And now that I've found a happy medium with maybe baby doll dresses, I think I could rock with that now. Yes, I can. <laughs> but definitely, I am a casual girl. I do love the casual look. As for shoes, I prefer sneakers and sandals and slippers look i love me a good pair of crocs even before they are gotten to be you know trendy the trendy look now even before that years before that i was rocking with crocs i'm not ashamed to say it <laughs> yes but i prefer flats you know i do own heels because let's be honest when you're taking a good picture, sometimes you need that pair of heels. I am that person. Can I tell you something? I am that person who would walk into church, you know, make my grand entrance in the house of the Lord. Yes, with my heels. And then when I get to my seat, I take them off. <laughs> and I put on my flats that's in my bag. <laughs> yes i do i am that person even though i wear heels i always have a pair of flats somewhere about because i am not wearing heels all day every day no ma'am no ma'am no 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 after you've seen the picture you've seen the look then it's my time to come down low <laughs> and there you have it so yes, I'm definitely a casual girl. Second question is, what is my favorite type of garment to sew? Well, if this is not your first video, you would know that uh, my favorite type of garments to sew are dresses. If this is your first video, welcome. Welcome to my shenanigans. <laughs> and go back and watch my previous videos. But anyway, my favorite types of garments to sew are dresses, 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 and then trousers come second. Yes. 
Question number three. Besides sewing, what other crafts do I engage in? I am that person. I have a lot of crafts that I engage in. You know, I, I just love to learn things. And I am that person if I see something and I get interested enough, I want to buy all the things pertaining to that craft. <laughs> but my craft that I currently engage in besides um, sewing, um, jewelry design, I love jewelry design. I do actually have my own jewelry line in Bellish Works. So I love designing and making jewelry love 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 it so that's one craft that i engage in my the other craft i crochet and i knit and my mother is who taught me to do both crafts i think i was around six years old when she taught me how to crochet and she taught me how to knit in my in my later years so yes i also crochet and i knit I also quilt. I've taken up quilting last year. It's something that I always wanted to do and I, I'm glad that I finally got the opportunity to take it up. So I'm rocking with quilting as well. Another other craft that I engage in, I do um, engage in hair bows, hair bows making. I love that as well. It's not something that I do often now because uh, I don't have anyone to gift it to. I make them if I have an order to for them now but uh, yeah that's something that I do and something that I dabble in off and on is um, blinging up tumblers you know with the with the rhinestones I do that <laughs> ever so often. So those are the crafts that I'm currently engaging in besides sewing fourth question fourth question are there any types of art or crafts that i would like to learn in the future most definitely most definitely one thing that i would like to learn in the future or get better at is photography I love, 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 love photography. But the type of photography that uh, I would like to engage more in or learn or develop that skill is um, the product placement. I love to see unique product placement uh, photos. I love it. Uh, and that's something that I want to engage in more in the future. Another thing that I would like to learn is actually is painting painting abstract painting i've always loved abstract painting and uh, that's something that i would like to get into in the future now as uh, artsy and crafty as i am i cannot draw to save my life welcome to stick people massive you know <laughs> that is what I draw that is my, my my Achilles heels when it comes to arts and craft can draw to save my life but I always loved abstract art abstract paintings and I will definitely love to get into that in the future another one would be animation I, I would love to get into animation in the future. Another one is card making. I would actually love to develop my own cards, my own brand for cards. Forget Hallmark. I am coming. I am coming. <laughs> I don't know who will do the drawings, <laughs> but when I get to that bridge, I'll cross it then but definitely I like to get into card making and another one I would like to get into is leather making I love leather 
I love leather. I want to learn how to make a leather bag. <laughs> That's something that I would like to dabble in in the future and actually add it to my embellished brand, leather bags. And the last one, last but not least, is shoe making. Before I leave this earth, I have to learn how to make a pair of shoes. <laughs> I just love to see them and you know you can blame Mimi G for that because I've seen all of her Instagram reels and videos with her making her different shoes to match her outfit and I'm like I want to do that too I want to do that yes we got to put that on the list Pat we got to do <laughs> so I do want to get into that at some point in the future so those are my future crafting aspirations <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. Am I left-handed or right-handed? Left-handed. <laughs> I am left-handed. Do I have anyone else out there who's left-handed? Come, come and join me. <laughs> yes, I am left-handed. And a lot of people are actually amazed that I'm left-handed because until they see me right they actually don't know that i'm left-handed because i do a lot of things right-handed as well and that is because um in my household i'm the only one that's actually left-handed so i had to adapt to a lot of things but all left-handed person in this world you know they do have to adapt to living in a right-handed world but i also lived in a right-handed household as well <laughs> so I had to adapt. So there, there are certain things that uh, I don't do left-handed at all. Um, if I'm ironing, you know, the direction where a left-handed person would iron, I don't because I iron with my right hand. Um, the way my computer is set up as well is actually set up for a right-handed person because I move the mouse with my right hand. And, and stuff like that. And that is because, you know, back in the day when it was only one computer for the household back in the day, it was set up for a right-hand person. So that is what I did. I adapt <laughs> and that is what I did. So there's certain things that I do as if I'm right-handed. Um, so yeah, but I'm left-handed and I'm proud to be left-handed. <laughs> Question number six. What do I listen to when I'm crafting? Um, I listen to a lot of things, actually. I am that person who cannot be in quietness for too long, even when I'm sleeping. When I'm sleeping, there's, there's still some sort of noise going in the background. As a matter of fact, you want to torture me, put me in complete quietness. <laughs> That is maddening. I cannot do it. So there's always some sort of noise in the background going on for me. So when I craft, um, when I saw craft, whatever, I tend to listen to music a lot. Um, if not music, I'm watching other YouTube videos. I'm catching up on YouTube videos as well. That's the, oh, I'm listening to some sort of audiobooks. Those are the three, three main things. Um, to be honest, I don't watch a lot of, lot of Netflix. If I do watch Netflix, uh, it's, uh, um, a show or a movie that I've watched in the past because I'm not a movie type of person so it has to be something that I've watched in the past growing up that I really really loved but definitely music audiobooks or I'm catching up on my YouTube videos question number seven what is my favorite color hmm well, I am going to admit something today <laughs> and I don't know how much of you guys are like me out there, but I don't have a favorite color. I don't. 
I honestly do not have a favorite color. There are colors that I don't like. Um, like I'm not a fan of orange. And uh, to be honest, I don't wear a lot of browns either in, in clothing, in accessories, shoes, bags, and whatever. Love me some brown, but in terms of clothing, I don't wear a lot of brown. Colors that I tend to gravitate towards, I do love uh, um, greens, blues, reds, um, purple, pinks. And I find a lot of the time I tend to go towards the darker end of those spectrum. Yes, I do love me a good mustard too. Mustard and purple together, it gets me every time. <laughs> <laughs> but yes those are the colors that i tend to gravitate to but like i said on the darker end of the spectrum i do love a good blood red a good ox blood red a dark rich red i love it love 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 it <laughs> question number eight <laughs> what is my favorite type of fabric to work with you guys know that cotton all day every day i love cotton cotton blends once it contains cotton i am at the front of the line for it gimme 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 <laughs> Not to say that I don't use any other type of fabric, I do, but it's just something about cotton. I just love it. Cotton, denim, linen, sail sucker, love it. So yes, those are the types of fabric that I do love. Now, one of my challenge this year is to, or make a goals I can say this year, is to use more of um, lightweight fabric, particularly um, rayon chalet. I am say, I'm going to say that I am failing miserably. <laughs> and when I say lightweight fabric, I'm, I mean non-cutting fabric. <laughs> I've only used it once for the year if i'm not mistaken and that is uh, when i was making my call 7969 i didn't really enjoy it as as much as i thought that i would have and i think it's because i'm not accustomed to use uh, those sorts of fabric but we'll see what i'm feeling as the year progresses because I do think I should be able to diversify you know my wardrobe with different sorts of fabric so I am on that quest <laughs> but honestly I do love cutting the best question number nine <laughs> where do I purchase my fabric I can say that maybe 90% of my fabric is bought online. Um, and that is because my local fabric store, um, over the years, they have actually decreased the amount of fabric that they do carry. So it's not as extensive as it used to be. It's very limited. So i have to resort in purchasing my fabric online so besides my local fabric store which is clovers online i get my fabric mostly from um fabric mark fabrics uh, cali fabrics uh, um fabric wholesale direct uh, and fabric mart for the most part i do on occasion get oh and a house of mommy water for my ankara fabric i do on occasion get uh, um fabric from amazon and xd here and there but when i'm making bulk orders the those previously mentioned are the places that i would get my fabric from now in previous years 
<laughs> and I'm still bitter about it. In previous years, my go-to was fabric.com because you could have gotten everything under one roof from fabric.com. But now they, they have left us high and dry like chickens running about with our heads cut off and now we are here there and everywhere but and on the other hand it gave me the opportunity to be introduced to other fabric companies so those are the fabric companies that i usually mostly now get my fabric from question number 10 and 10 10 10 <laughs> What are some of my crafting pet peeves? Hmm, I'm just going to share two with you. Um, my first one is uh, leaving the sewing machine light on when it's not in use. I hate it. I hate it. I am that person uh, when I go into Clover's Crafting Studio because that's where I take my do my quilting class and they're actually some of the classes offered there is um, sewing classes for both adults and children. I am that person who walks along and locks off sewing machine lights. <laughs> Because I can't fathom if you're not at the machine using it and you are out there somewhere having conversation on NNN and the machine light is just on or you left it to have a snack or something and the machine light is there on. I, that is my pet peeve. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> my second pet peeve and this has to do with... Uh, if I'm watching tutorials, I do watch a lot of tutorials. Like I said, I'm always in a state of learning. I'm, I'm just an inquisitive person. So if I'm watching a tutorial, I need you to respect the craft enough so you know the proper names of the tools and equipment that you're using and the technique that you're using don't come to me and you're showing me something and you're using a tool let's say i'm watching a jewelry tutorial let's say wire wrapping or something like that and you're using one of the the pliers let's say you're using the the needle nose plier don't come and tell me we're gonna take this thingamajigger and, and 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 stuff like that it has a name i can't go on amazon or online to you know a jewelry supply store online and type in thingamajig and find what i'm looking for no if you're gonna teach me teach me correct and respect the craft enough to learn the proper names that's all i'm saying that is all i'm saying thank you <laughs> question 11 <laughs> what are some of my favorite mates so let's see in sewing i think let me do this year for sewing one of my favorite mates on um, this year for sewing is uh, actually this top that i'm wearing matched with uh, that was paired with uh, the wide leg trousers from Mimi G. I can't remember the pattern names right now but I'll put them I'll put them up and both of the patterns are from uh, are from Mimi G. This top actually is from Mimi G and the trousers the wide leg um, denim trousers that I made was also from Mimi G. So th this is one of my favorite outfits for sewing out makes for the year. In terms of jewelry, I'll go back several years for jewelry because I do have a piece that I loved and to this day it's in one of my top, I would say, three makes to this day. And it is a Kumehimo pearl necklace that I made. Oh, I loved I loved, I love that um, necklace that I made. And I was commissioned to make the, the necklace actually. Ooh. 
loved it. I didn't even want to give it up. How beautiful that necklace was. So in terms of jewelry, that's definitely one of my favorite makes. When it comes to knitting, knitting, I will say one of my favorite makes in knitting was my first sweater that I knitted. It was a crop, crop sweater. And it was, was it the party top sweater? I think that's what it's called, but it's not, I'll, I'll pop it up on the screen. That is one of my favorite makes for, um, for, for knitting. So in terms of crochet, one of my favorite crochet makes that I've made was actually a, um, I did a crochet shawl using, it was a triangle shawl using fingering cotton weight fabric and it was freehand. The, the, the pattern was my own design. So that was one of my favorite um, crochet makes. So yeah. So question number 12. Yes. What are my favorite snacks when I am crafting? Well, I really don't like to have food around my projects. Uh, um, anything could happen, um, especially if I'm doing a commission piece. Um, if it's if it's going for sale, um, it's, if it's going to be a part of any sort of exhibition or anything like that, it's just not wise to have food <laughs> there in in the mix. But when I um, usually I would go off eat it and then wash my hands and then come back so usually when I do that I do love homemade chocolate chip and pecan cookies mm. I'm not a store-bought cookie person uh, I don't like that so chocolate chip in the store chips are high mm. Uh, mm -mm. don't like it at all it actually it actually makes me want to vomit but homemade chocolate chip and pecan cookies mm. and my sister actually makes the best uh, debate me all you want <laughs> i said what i said <laughs> so i do love um homemade chocolate chip uh, and pecan cookies uh, i also like popsicles not an ice cream person per se but popsicles I do love popsicles and fruits. I love fruits as well. Um, grapes, mangoes, pineapples, strawberries, uh, oranges, tangerine, watermelon. I do, I do love fruits as well. So those are some of the snacks that I would gravitate to when I'm snacking. Question number 13 is, do you prefer hot or cold beverages cold beverages all the way baby i'm not a hot beverage person as a matter of fact i don't like coffee mm, i don't like coffee and tea the only time i drink tea is when i'm sick and my family members <laughs> know that every time they see me drink tea something is not well something is not right <laughs> That's the only time I drink tea when I'm not feeling well. I'm not, I'm not a hot beverage person. As a matter of fact, when I was pursuing my college degrees, you know, I lived in both Canada and the UK. Now, these places can get bitterly cold in the winter. I am that person who used to go into Costa and Tim Hortons and, and Starbucks in the dead of winter and order green tea lemonade <laughs> or some sort of smoothie. I am not even joking. I don't like hot beverages. I prefer cold beverages. My water has to be cold. Ice cold and that's just how i like it so yes cold beverages are the way 
question number 14 we are at the end guys question number 14 what is my dream garment to sew i would love to sew an evening gown of some sort i would love to sew an evening gown of some sort i don't know when and i don't know how because I don't wear a lot of evening gown dresses but I want to I really 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 want to so maybe I'll just make one <laughs> just for the fun of it but I really would like to make an evening gown dress yes all right lovies that is all the questions that i have today i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed it i did i did enjoy it if you have any other questions that you would like to ask please feel free to pop it in the comments below and i'll try my very best to get back to you as soon as possible yes don't forget to like subscribe and also comment even more and don't forget to follow me on instagram so you can keep up with my other crafting shenanigans yes <laughs> i hope you have a lovely day enjoy the rest of your week think lovely thoughts keep on smiling and always remember to make beautiful and wonderful things <laughs> All right, lovies, I'm out of here. Bye.